Here we have a 2019 Seat Leon Cupra 4-Drive DSG. Now this vehicle comes with black 19-inch alloy wheels, just there, all in excellent condition. We also have the silver paintwork along with the LED headlights at the front, Cooper badging on the front grills. Coming around to the passenger side, you find the second alloy wheel. We also have the colour-coded door handles along with the black mirrors and trim around the windows. We have the privacy glass for the rear passengers. Up top, you'll find the pano glass roof along with the black roof rails. And down here, you'll find the third alloy wheel, again in excellent condition. This vehicle does have front and rear parking sensors with a visual display inside. And coming around to the rear, you'll find the dual exit exhausts. And this vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Coming around now to the fourth and final alloy wheel. And taking a look inside, you'll find a half leather interior. We have the foldable armrest in the centre, the fixed ISO points. We have the vents in the centre along with two USB ports. We have the black door handles and the electric windows. Into the front now you'll find the same half leather interior. Just there, we also have the Cupra logo on the seats. Onto the doors you have the same black handles, the electric windows, so try that for the rear. Electric power folding mirrors. We have the auto lights just there. Flat bottomed multifunctional steering wheel. We also have the digital dashboard along with the main infotainment screen, which has the likes of radio, navigation, Bluetooth connectivity, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. However, once this vehicle gets a full valet, we're doing a more in depth video. If you want to find out more, please check out the website. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Video test drive of this Sierra Lee Cupra 4 Drive. Now the purpose of this video test drive is to show that the vehicle drives exactly as expected. So as you can see, I'm not as fat with the steering wheel. So you keep it in a straight line. It's going to show you some truth, not being off to the left or to the right. Now I do have your multifunction steering wheel, power shift and rear if you wish to take the car into manual mode. And you also have your cruise control and speed limiter on the indicator stalk. Now I'm going to take a left at the roundabout as you would if you're test driving of this vehicle today. I'm going to take it with the paddle shift. So drop it down to second, up to third, into fourth, into fifth. And then I'm going to let the car take back over by simply just letting it go. Back when I push the gear stick to your left hand side and go over the gear stick like that. So push it up and down. Now when the gear stick is facing up, you're in normal driving automatic mode. Pull down, it goes into sport. Now it's a sports gear changer mode, so it runs through the red range a lot longer and sharpens up those gear changes. Now you have the digital dash in front of me, nice addition to have. We can also find your lap timer and all of the different settings on there as well. You can also have your satellite navigation map as you can change it from the screen here to be on the screen in the center. Very cool addition to have. Now you have very comfortable seats throughout this vehicle, so they do have the half fabric and half suede seats in the front. You can quite easily do 300 and 400 miles and still get healthy and fresh. Now you have your electric windows, you have your suede and your carbon fiber look on the door there as well. Electric park and brake auto hold and we also have the panoramic sunroof and we also have the ambient lighting inside. So right now I'm coming up to the industrial state, I'm going to take a right, I'm going to follow my stop probably straight into reverse just to show that the brakes work exactly how you'd expect them to. And you'll see pop up on the centre screen parking sensors so we're coming up to the industrial state now waiting for a car to pass and i'll do a countdown from three to do the emergency stop so count down from three two three two one and onto the brakes straight into reverse no issues whatsoever you see the front of the parking sensor just there back into drive again no issues whatsoever now, if you're test driving this vehicle today, you'd be listening out for new ones and knocks or bangs. And if you've been listening out during this test drive video, there hasn't been any, which is always a bonus when buying a used car. Now, if you haven't answered all of your questions and inquiries during this test drive and walkout video, please feel free to get in contact with the sales team, where they can answer any answered questions and also run through some inquiries with you. But that's it for me in this walkout video. I'm going to test drive it. See you for me soon. Cheers.